The European headquarters of the United Nations in Geneva. The spectacular ceiling fresco was inaugurated three years ago in the presence of many world leaders. 10,000 meetings a year are held at the UN's Geneva headquarters. The grandiose eight-year-old building is in urgent need of repair. In room 18, for example, the infrastructure is completely outdated. This is a very old system. The sound quality is terrible. You need to understand what's going on and listen very carefully. When someone starts to speak, we don't know which mic we should turn on. There's no indication on the panel. Our technicians have a hard time when something breaks down. They can't even find the spare parts to repair it. The French engineer has been working at the UN for more than 10 years and knows all the other problem areas. In this room, the ceiling is leaking. We have to use a bucket to collect the rain, hoping it won't permeate other studios nearby. On the rooftop, a temporary structure has been built to stop the rain from coming in. But being temporary, it can't do too much. We had to build this temporary structure to protect the rooms. Water was causing lots of damage in the offices and to the electrical installations. Cost of the temporary structure, 150,000 francs. After about a year, it's already crumbling. Under the roof, a maze of pipes has been built to collect the rain. The list of repair work is long. The glass roof structure on top of the main conference hall hasn't been touched since 1929. It's holding up for now, but in the event of an earthquake, this frame could crumble and fall on top of the second structure below and then right through the main conference hall. Another major problem. Too many locks and keys. Some holes are in such bad shape, they've simply been abandoned. The Geneva Director General, the number two in the UN after Ban Ki-moon, is hoping the member states will be generous in their contributions. Our approach, it's our attitude uh, to the historic, to the heritage. He's a protected person. Uh, 75 years ago, we had the same desk, the same table, the same chairs, this, even the same lamps, and uh, including the same statue. Uh, if we want to start the renovation in 2015, uh, we should think now how to get money, how to get funding from the member states. The funding is not going to be an easy process. The New York headquarters of the United Nations is going through its own major renovation, and until that is finished, Geneva must wait.